and you're very welcome to this video. This is the first video in a series on the topic of market failure for the IB Economics Pro uh, course, for the Diploma Programme. In this lesson, what we're going to learn about is we're going to learn about what market failure actually is and look at what allocative efficiency is. So, prior to this uh, video, you should have learned in your course already that uh, you know markets operating in freely competitive market uh, will drive an equilibrium price and an equilibrium quantity. This basically shows us that, you know, at a certain price point, uh, I, I, uh, there's a certain quantity derived uh, where supply equals demand and all the resources are used efficiently and at the optimum point. However, that doesn't really happen in real life. And that's what market failure is all about. Free markets are either going to produce too much or too little of a product. In other words, they're over allocating resources to the production of a good or they're under allocating resources to the production of that good. So we can see here in the diagram here on the right hand side, we have a case where we have a nice neutral equilibrium point of PE and QE and our supply and demand curves. Now we're going to look at the idea of allocated efficiency. So in plain English, okay, this is the points are at the point where resources are allocated in the most efficient manner. So in other words, our market is in equilibrium and our social surplus is maximized. Our social surplus, if you can't remember, is the point where consumer surplus and producer surplus are fully maximized, as is shown in the diagram there. So we have a full area consumer surplus, a full area producer surplus, both meeting at the equilibrium point there. So at the price P, uh, at that price point PE, we have a number of goods produced, QE, and there's nothing left over. Everything that is made is sold. OK, so to give you the proper official terminology for allocative efficiency for a definition is a key word for today. It's reducing the combination of goods uh, mostly wanted by society. It is achieved when the economy allocates the resources so that no one can become better off in terms of increasing the benefit from consumption without someone being worse off. The benefits of consumption are maximized for the whole of society. This is when marginal benefit equals marginal cost. More on what these things, uh, marginal benefit, marginal cost are, are in the next video. So that brings us to the idea of, well, what is market failure? Well, this refers to the failure of the market to allocate resources efficiently. So in other words, we're under allocating or over allocating resources in the market. This recourse results in allocative inefficiency. OK, so that's res over allocation of the good, so over vision of a good. So we're making too much of it that the market wants or an under allocation of resources. So we're not giving enough resources or providing enough resources uh, to that good to create a social optimum. So, folks, now we have a general understanding of what market failure is and we know what allocative efficiency is. And that will lead us into the rest of the videos in this series. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, why not give it a like? Uh, and if you want to see more content like this, please give, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.